You know, a lot of people tell me, a lot of directors will tell me, hey, you need to start making stories that relate to things that are happening in life right now. But, I mean, who wants to do that, right? You want to get away when you watch a movie. You don't want to be, you know, walk out of a theater and, you know, experience, oh, I just watched something that happened in the theater. Now i got to go live it as well. Yeah, Victor and I have known each other for a few years now. And he's always talked about wanting to shoot feature stuff or a short and we've bounced around a bunch of different ideas and then this year he he just went full force at that and he was like I want to shoot something I want to shoot something really good I want it to be really well done and he said would you be willing to direct it if if I present a script one of the biggest challenges that I came across uh, writing the script um, was definitely trying to do something that's original and I know that's kind of everybody just kind of says that um, but it's hard you know it, everything essentially has been done you know um, but it's how you do it and how you bring the team together from the talent, from the crew. You know, it, you can try to replicate something, but it's never gonna look the same. You know, it's gonna be your flavor of it. You know, we went back and forth on it and um, many drafts were, were burned in the process, um, but we ended up coming to this and it's something that's gonna transport you to another place, make you feel like, you know, the, the classics, when you used to watch Jaws or Jurassic Park or any of those big movies that Spielberg made, this will, you know, honor those. So last year I had a production titled Day 8 and I met Victor because he was part of the crew. I, I remember him being so passionate and really being attentive and exactly the kind of team member that I would love to work with. That's when we started talking a little bit and we decided to bring Legacy Rain Studios and Two's One Studios together as a partnership. Um, and we just, you know, decided to make this thing happen. A year later, he approached me with a script and saying, hey man, I'd love to produce this and get this off the ground and see if you'd love to be involved. Victor is the one that introduced me to Yousef, and Yousef and uh, Victor and I sat down and had a great first you know, initial meeting kickoff to this whole project, and as a producer, top notch. I mean, I was super impressed, loved everything he was doing, he was coordinating it, but I hadn't seen his acting ability yet. I leapt at the idea of someone writing something, and then he offered me, you know, one of the lead roles, and I was just like, you know, okay. So good, so good in his acting. He's, he's I, don't, I don't know if I can say this, he's murdered it pretty much. Um, you know, I didn't really know how good Yousef was until I actually saw him through the viewfinder of that camera. The idea of me being able to lead in the piece, bringing some great talent as well with Kurt and Bree, I just know we're putting together something that's fantastic and, you know, I'm looking forward to many more. You know, the funny thing is, I, um, Atlanta is such a, it's, it's a big community, but it's also small and then it feels like you know, everybody sort of knows each other, even if we've never met. So that's that's been the case with Yusuf, and we've actually have shared credits in some projects. And uh, so it's been really nice to, to get a chance to actually work, you know, directly across from him. Working with Kurt is one of the most professional environments I've ever been in. Um, I know that we were going through the casting process, Jordan, Brown, who's our casting director, she had directly said, I need Kurt to read for this, Yusef. And the first time I saw his audition, I said, well, that's it for me. And I remember when we got together as a production team to go over casting options, it was unanimous that we all said, and those can be, those can be tough because I know I sat in a few where we've had some arguments and some you know, feedback, pros and cons of who we should cast. And this was one of the first times where we literally said, well, you know, I remember AJ goes, I don't know how about you, how you guys feel, but you know, I'm cool for that Kurt guy. And I was like, oh yes, that's exactly what was on mine. And, and I remember Victor was like, yeah, I, you know, Kurt's his name, right? Yeah, that guy. And we were just like, done. Big props up to my agent for finding this uh, project for me and it, when I read it for my audition, it was immediate, like, connection. From the minute I saw her audition tape, I knew that she was that character. Uh, there wasn't really uh, any question in my mind. When I, when we had a Zoom call and, you know, the producers and I, and we were talking about, you know, who, who are your selections from some of the, um, 
from some of the submissions. I came with one submission for that character and that was Brie. And she has been amazing to work with on this project. What separates him from a lot of other directors that I've worked with is he knows how to talk to his actors. Not only knows how to talk, but he has to get through. And I love the, the so much trust that he gives us and the freedom of, of, of allowing us to express our characters. It's, it's been great having that uh, kind of collaborative you know, work environment with a director, that doesn't always happen. So having that has been uh, fantastic. He is clearly in tune with how a performer feels. He knows that I'm going through different beats and different steps in my head before we get on to actually shoot on the day. Giving the talent the freedom they need is, is very important as a director. I think it's also just as important to give your crew that freedom and that trust and respect that they're gonna do their craft to the best of their ability. And so knowing that you have a director that's on your side and that at any point I can throw out a question or a comment or concern and he's gonna be right there with us. Can't wait till the next 15 projects we do. It was really exciting to see kind of a, a mystery slash science fiction, uh, mind bender type of a story. And it's been great to go from seeing the, that on the pages of a script up to actual uh, the final product. Um, the sci-fi element and the time travel element has always been uh, something that I've liked just as a, a viewer of movies and TV shows. So um, getting a chance to be a part of like a time travel type of movie is Pretty exciting. I uh, really uh, find their vision to be extraordinary and find their uh, technical craftsmanship to be amazing. One of the things about this film that everyone's going to notice is how beautifully shot it is. And that comes down to our DP, which is Victor. I think from a cinematography standpoint, one of the biggest challenges that I came across was just trying to figure out how I was going to light a certain scene without making it look commercial. And this is my first narrative project that I've done. Um, and trying to break that commercial realm and go into more of a film is very difficult uh, because your eye always takes you there. You know, it's like, oh, I want something clean and polished, but, you know, that's not always what film is. With AJ, I would say, you know, good friend of mine. Known him for years, you know, uh, he's taught me so many things um, and I've evolved because of him. Um, not only as a person, but as a cinematographer, as a writer, uh, he's taught me so much. I'm very proud of him uh, as a friend and as a DP for what he's accomplished here today. There's these really big teaspoons of information and, and action and drama that you get out of this short that I think would just be so intense and so amazing. I think everybody has such great energy. Everybody's ambitious. Everybody is helpful. And, you know, that goes a long way. You know, I would love people to be able to see this movie on the festival circuit, uh, in streaming, in whatever ways that it ultimately manifests. I think there's such a good story here, too. I could imagine there being a longer form in its future. Ultimately, I think if we can create something amazing that people enjoy watching, uh, but we had a good time in the process, uh, and again, hopefully people feel valued and appreciated and learned something, that they met somebody through this process um, that, that helped uh, move their career or their passion forward. If the film gets a lot of attention, I think that's great for our careers and that's great for, um, for the, the fact that we did it, right, the process. However, if not, then we made friendships and connections and things here today and throughout this process that definitely made it worth it for me.